<laughs> now I was promised a part in the in the in what is I thought would be the next series, but it's mm-hmm. turned out to be the final series. I I said that I was prepared to kill myself in order to be <laughs> an actual ghost. So it's a good job I didn't do it, isn't it? Because. <laughs> Um, Was that Matt and Jim? Yeah. Yeah, you can't trust them. <laughs> yeah. They encouraged me to kill myself. They promised so much. <laughs> now, between the two of you as well, do you regret your choice? When you came up with this idea, thought, yeah, I'll be, I'll be a caveman who has to go in. Ben to... doesn't oh, regret man. his choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be a bloke. in one enough. moment in my life where I thought, if I do that and <laughs> grow a moustache, no one will have to touch my face. <laughs> I remember World War in II, please. World War Two, please. <laughs> Series four, when we we've been shooting, yes. we're not alone, and you'd had to shave your moustache, yeah. and so we had a fake moustache as everyone yeah. spotted immediately. Um, <laughs> it did, it did. Brilliant though it was, it's just uh, not yeah. yours. When, and um, there was a moment on set where we sat down in the green room, and you were sort of blowing up your lip, and you went, "Honestly, this bloody moustache," and then you realised you were not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, when they when we they they did a they always do makeup tests when you um, when you start anything with facial hair they do they do a little test first time they stuck that f- fake one on it was so low it was like it was like down here it was like what are you doing <laughs> oh I think that looks great no, what <laughs> I mean I look like sort of Burt Reynolds <laughs> for a bit it's like what are we doing this is never gonna work <laughs> had a bit of a panic. And when I read you all got together after Yonderland to come up with whatever this next idea was going to be and had, like, days of working out ideas and Ghost was one of the first things you came up with. Yeah. It was, the first, it was really early. Yeah. And then we laughed about loads of it and then we were trying to make the story work and give it stakes and you go, well, they don't need money and they're dead and it doesn't... And so we just parked it and went on to other things. We really, a couple of things we really got a long way down the road with. And we just kept going. That ghost thing was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we sort of once we'd hit on kind of two things: Mike and Allison being able to give it stakes because they needed to worry about money and not dying and things like sure. that. Um, and the kind of making a virtue of how banal their existence <laughs> is, and the fact they just argue over who gets which bedroom and watches the t- what they get to watch on TV, and so it kind of um, it eventually came together. But yeah, it, it was an early idea. But to kind of get to the point where we ironed out the creases took a really long time. Yeah. I mean, there were some gr- other great ideas. <clears throat> we could pitch them to you now. Yeah, I was going to ask. I was going <laughs> to ask what they were, because I might nick them. If they, if uh, you nearly threw go- oh, like, Ghost in the Air. We won't do that one. Yeah. Let's, do, let's think of something else. There was all sorts. There was all sorts. Don't pitch it, because... <laughs> I mean, don't pitch it. I you was might, looking at you, you and you were going you with your eyes. Was there was the one that was just t- terrible and wouldn't have wouldn't have worked? Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, no, a, we're very we're very good. very good. <laughs> yeah, I there's, mean, there's loads of me just going. What if? Um, <laughs> it's like no. Oh, okay, no, you're right. You're probably right. You're probably. Right. I mean, it's great because it's you know that's what a sitcom needs to be: people trapped together in a yeah yeah exactly. A, it's kind of a distilled version of a sitcom. Yeah. They, they're really. It's different, yeah. People who are very unalike trapped together, and we go, let's they're the most unalike that any people can be trapped in the most definite way, yeah, ever. So it's sort of people are like, oh, it's a bit off the wall, and you go, well, no, it's kind of died in the wall, really, yeah. Mm. And uh, do you think the fact Robin's been there for so long, it means that he's he's never going to get sucked off? <laughs> Did you never see the episode with Mary? <laughs> <laughs> the oh, god, I'm so sorry, <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, God. The, um... <laughs> I'm, really so, I'm really sorry about um, my friends. I don't know. I think... But we, we, we were really early on. We kind of said, and put it into dialogue, that there is no rhyme or reason to it. We wanted to get away from that sense of... There was kind of a, an assumption that you would do a good deed and then that would be you going over to the afterlife. And, and we were like... If, 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 that becomes a format and you get tied to it so quickly. And so we said... You never know and there's no reason to it. Yeah. And then kind of when, when Mary got sucked off, it was like our way of going, see, yeah. we told you. So with even see. after all this time, we, we kind of never knew with, with um, Robin, you know, even though it's been several thousand years, it could be tomorrow. Or who if knows he, if he makes it through or, Series 5? Or start. if he gets a part in Ted Lasso, then... Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah no. then... Uh, <laughs> suddenly... <laughs> wow. 
All the original ghosts have been sucked off and replaced with other actors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it's it's it, as I say, it, it's a it's a terrific series, and we we have watched the first series of the the, the American one, which mm. I, we enjoyed as well. It is quite different. Mm. Um, is, are you enjoying? Are you, I mean, you're executive producers of it, and obviously yeah. in, involved in it. Right, right at the forefront, fighting the battle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, we did for, for the first for the pilot and for the um, you know first season, we would get all the. Uh, the first cuts and you can you look at it and it, it was weird because you you're looking at something that originated in our writer's room <laughs> sort of going through a kind of weird filter and you then you understand all those decisions as well because they've got they're writing for a very specific audience they have a uh, very different history and so it all goes through that filter and but they do it in that way where it it becomes a CBS product without wishing to sound too corporate but it does it becomes a uh something that they produce and very american in its i mean they were execution. very sort of from from the get-go i mean they said what we, we really love this show what we're not doing is oh there's something in the idea it doesn't really work but leave it to us we'll fix it they were like we really want this we want to make the version of this that works with an american uh, make american history captures its dna and we will find the archetypes that fit within yeah. the framework of American history. And that's sort of exactly what they did. I mean, the showrunners were Incredible. true to their world, yeah. uh, true to their word. And, and, you know, I think from really early on, once we'd seen that the format and the tone that they put on it was going to work, you kind of, it was really tempting to go, okay, let's, let's pour over every single word. But you go, the more deeply we get involved, the greater the danger of it just becoming our show again. Yeah. And you go, we've already made our version. It becomes pointless if we kind of just get our crowbars out and go, no, make it more like ours. You go, well, you know, make 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 your version. I think they've done a really yeah, good, they have. really and good job. They, well, they are... must have done. I mean, it's ridiculously <laughs> huge. They've all got yachts. Yeah, they have. <laughs> they get paid in yachts. The um, but they are um, the two showrunners, two Joes. They are incredibly experienced, and they not. I, th I think. I'm right in saying they'd not got a, uh, a show away, or at least not one on that scale. And it was just really lovely to see them succeed in that way because yeah. their their pilot script was amazing. All the sample writing samples that they were sending through beforehand were incredible, and you just go, "This is going to be you. It's going to be great. You're going to do a really good job." And they have, and they are, they yeah, are I, astonishing. I remember retired. reading that we got yeah got sent yeah, the got sample the script from something yeah. they'd written that they've got made. And we, was just, we were all like, read, sat around yeah? the table reading it, and we were like, this is brilliant. These guys are really <laughs> Let's clever. fire them and then hire them to write this. <laughs> yeah. well, you t is there anything you tell that you wish you'd done in, in your version, or is there stuff that you wanted to take a across? We, mm. we sort of avoided going too deep into the series while we were still making it, yeah. because of that reason. We didn't want to start making things because we saw it and went, oh, that would work for us. Yeah, and equally, tricky. if we'd come up with an idea, we didn't want to go, oh, but we can't do that because they have, you know, because we didn't want to change the way that we approach the show. You know, yeah, they're two very, and, so. very separate entities, yeah. really. But they, um, yeah, the first season, they, they really have mind. But bear in mind, they do 22 episodes. So they've already now shot more than we will ever yeah. shoot. So... They're going to have to reach with, you know, the, the beauty is of doing six or seven uh, a series, I'm going to call it a series, <laughs> um, is that we, you know, we can sort of hold story in a, in a, in a different way. Their, their, their story engine, if you like, is just running over time. So they've got, they've got to throw so much material and so many ideas in. Yeah, yeah. That inevitably, the rules are going to bend and the world is going to expand and they're going to have, you know, many more, many more characters coming and knocking on the door. Yeah. Their, their story yeah, engine yeah. is a big V8 American muscle car and ours is a mini Metro. <laughs> it is a mini Metro, you're right. You know, reliable. It's very reliable. <laughs> well, it's interesting, you know, it's interesting to see a, a bigger budget version of, which is part of the, the, the difference, isn't it? They've yeah. got, yeah. there's a lot more money, they can have a lot more yeah. actors. I think, like, it's interesting to see, as I was saying backstage, but it's interesting to see the seller people Played by different, yeah, yeah, different people, which yeah. kind of, okay, you know, it's nice and ghosts that you play them, but it also kind of makes it, yeah, well, that it was takes you out the reality of it a little bit as well in some ways. We, isn't it? We've always loved doing multi-character. Yeah, that's what we've always done, and 
but that was that that was the way that we went yeah or we can do a little bit of we it. did yeah. well we, in the first we made a yeah a, a pilot that was never transmitted that was that was the deal it wasn't like they went this is terrible don't feel <laughs> telly we we sort of went uh could, could we you know work out what this is and in that we were all playing multiple characters and yeah. there were about 100 ghosts in there right we made something unfilmable basically <laughs> and then we really looked at it, it and went that doesn't work it should be a distilled you know it should be a family yeah. who were just not related yeah, and um, but Ooh, yeah, I'd like was... to see that though. Are you going to put that on a no, no, DVD no, no. extra? <laughs> it's like the uh, black Ooh. for the pilot of Blackadder has yeah, just yeah. gone out yeah, forty yeah. years later. Like, forty years. years time, when you're dead, can we yeah, put yeah, it? Yeah, out? yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. When when Ben's dead, we'll put it. Yeah. Out. yeah, can Tony Robinson introduce we... it as well though? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh god can you imagine I can't imagine <laughs> we'll play it at you <laughs> <laughs> honestly we have we've done so we've done so much filming together we have had those discussions and I often bring up and go listen guys if I if I go first can you uh, and there's a whole list of stuff things I'm going to write it down I'll write it down I'll make a will a will yeah you should you should I have already made a will but I'm going to add that on there's going to be tricksy stuff in there for you, mister. <laughs> <laughs>